Hey guys, it's me, Zell again, and we are here with another episode of the Tales of the Jedi. I'm liking it so far. I hope you are too. And speaking of two, episode two is what we're on, Justice. This is where Dooku comes in. And like I said on the other one, I'm like so-so on my feelings about Dooku, but I'm hoping that this will give some deeper character depth to him in context always helps for me with character development and my interest towards people. So I got a little bit of dabbling. I read Master and Apprentice, and if I recall, I think it's in that one that it shows the dynamic between Count Dooku and Qui-Gon, who was his Padawan. And it kind of made me a little interested. Like I didn't realize that Count Dooku was the one that kind of initiated a little bit Qui-Gon's interest into um prophecies now dooku obviously wasn't like as like into it as qui-gon did but it kind of was what was like a stepping stone for him so anyways but so we're gonna see a little bit i'm assuming we're gonna see from what the thumbnail showed like young qui-gon which is exciting also one of my top favorite characters and Count Dooku. So playing into that dynamic, their relationship and some background story, I, you know, obviously before he fell to the dark side or the Sith or whatever you want to call it. Um, but yeah, I'm excited and hope you are too. I think I say that every time I'm watching something, I'm excited, but I am. Sorry, I like things. But on that note, let's get to it. Let's watch episode two to Tales of the Jedi justice oh that's a cool ship it looks like that dinosaur there's an alien species in star wars that has like the pointy anyway look at look at those blue eyes rising shortly master oh he's a baby down well clear of the village he's giving me kind of snape vibe sounding right professor snape alan rickman um Alan Rickman? Rest in peace. Oh, he's so baby. They do a good job showing him as a younger version. This feels like a Halloween horror story. Oh, everyone's emancipated. Emancipated? Emaciated, that's the word. Everyone's just so Where strong. Where is the child? Oh. Where are they holding the senator's son? Why should we tell you? Allow me to make my intentions clear. Jedi. He's very for the blunt. senator. For everyone. Come. They're almost in like pilgrim outfits, huh? Son is. You're one of the kidnappers. They all are. Wow, that's a big old droid. Never seen that thing before. <clears throat> he almost seems like the bug like beetle in droid form. How could my father allow this to happen to his people? You don't blame them for abducting you. What choice do they have? Oh. The senator. He's here. And sprout soldier. She. Oh, so they have a snitch. Arrest these criminals and have them release my son at once. Should I don't arrest I'm people? I'm afraid our investigation is not yet complete, Senator. Let me assure you, your son is in no immediate danger. Get him. I'll be the judge of that. Judge. Um, no. They got Jedi on their side. Step aside, Jedi. We cannot. You serve the Senate. I do no. not. We serve the people of this Republic. Dooku! So be it. I love how Qui-Gon was reading. Stand down. Look at him. I will not. Just whoosh their, whoosh their guns away. Fire! Oh no! 
Make all the people run. The Jedi can take them on. No, don't get... No! They're already suffering and hurt people. None shall defy me. Power Not hungry? You, Master Jedi. Oh. Okay. Oh. He's had enough. He's had enough. Corruption like yours oh. must be eradicated. Oh. No! Stop! Master, it's over. <laughs> oh, Dooku. Father. How could you do this? Oh my gosh. It's so intense, man. Look how broken they are. They're just, they're starving. They're... Your actions saved many lives today. Just thinking in the moment, Master. Oh. Well then. You're a much wiser man than I, Qui-Gon Jinn. Thanks to your teachings. Oh. That's the, what he's supposed to do for the Force. You live in the moment with your heart. What a good episode. Like, literally one episode, like, completely changed my perspective of Dooku. Gets me emotional, obviously, as you can see. Because that's, and then it's a good example. They used a corrupted senator of the Republic, right? Which is the Jedi are working alongside with. And Dooku specifically said, we are working for the people of the Republic, not the Senate. Like, you guys are supposed to be representative for the people yourself. So you are by that definition, not doing your due diligence and your job. He was getting corrupted and power hungry. And Duke was like, I am pissed off because you are taking action by your own hands against your people because your ego is getting in the way. And Dooku reacted emotionally in the moment as well. But he definitely was using that dark side energy there with the force choke, right? That was kind of a, like, obviously we don't know if that was the first time he's done that, but he it's clearly by the way he was reacting. It's not the first time he's seen things like that, actions of the Republic specifically that he disagrees with. So it seems he supports the people, right? Which is what I love as you learn more about Star Wars, that things aren't simple. And even like the Jedi and the Republic aren't in themselves representing perfection or all goodness, right? I mean, I mean, like the empire obviously was corruption because it was led by Palpatine, which is pretty, pretty consistently not the best guy. <laughs> but people who join the other opposing forces do that because they want to counter things that they see is not perfect. So with the rising government, the Republic at the time, there's a countering force, you know, against them, which is why you see other leaders and other planets who didn't want to join because they things they may have had a personal interaction like this when they were are part of it or people they knew of. And they are like, I don't want to be a part of that. They're like, I want to do it our own way because you guys are, you know, not taking care, not taking care of us. So that was just one example Dooku was seeing, right? And what probably led to his inevitable swapping sides um that he's like i don't want to do the, the status quo because we're this guy is just going to keep getting away with it and he's like that's why he was questioning he's like i is this going to change anything um and qui-gon was staying you know kind of more you know centered and balanced he's like i reacted in the moment and you know hoping you know for the best that those change he didn't say that but that was the vibes he was giving anyways a, no, a really good episode, like gut punch, emotions, tension already. Like I was already feeling emotions, like all the body language they were depicting, that guy shaking, the people just like all their sunken faces. Clearly they have been, they're weak. They're constantly short of food. And the, even the woman, the leader, not being upset or surprised that that woman did that because she was desperate for any sort of food. And they they all were just seemed helpless at that point and hopeless. And they were doing whatever they could. And they thought, well, let's take 
the son and maybe get a message across to him and or and it worked out in their favor because they won the heart of the son seeing like our people shouldn't be living in this he, he had no idea so i just loved seeing all that that seeing the heart in people come out and 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 getting down to it that people will do things that is unlike themselves when they're feeling their basic needs are not being met right when they their survival is at risk when they're desperate. And here you have a man full of plenty. He even is wearing clothes that are bright white and blue, like sense of like royalty and higher up and like, and he's trying to fight these people that are like living on their like last breath, essentially almost. And the people are fighting, are scared, untrained, weak. They're shaking, they're scared. Again, they're desperate. So I just liked, it was a really well done episode. They really depicted the emotions and the, um, severity of it but also they were showing good reflection of the Jedi's confliction with Dooku and then Qui-Gon both trying to do what's right with what his teachings are and but you know in the moment trying to keep his master's head on straight right just a good episode it was uh mwah, beautifully done so um anyways guys thanks for watching do that uh support stuff if you are happy with this uh reaction review give a thumbs up liking on the video and subscribe if you're here and you're not subscribed already that's the best way to know when videos go live since i don't have a consistent schedule and other than that thanks for being here and i will see you on the next one